This is the home screen. It displays a list of your video clips and the application's reference clips. Also found on the home screen are several icons which activate the main features of the system. To record a clip, touch the camera icon to activate the record module, select record, touch OK on the safety message and the video record window will appear. The camera records at the iPad's highest setting which is HD resolution 720 by 1280 pixels. You can record in either portrait or landscape mode. Line up your subject, start the recording by touching the red button or have a delayed start by touching timer. To stop recording, touch the red button again. Touch Use and the video will be stored in your clips list and your home screen will appear. To play a clip, touch a picture on the clips list and the video will appear. The video can be viewed in landscape or portrait mode by rotating the iPad. The full screen icon on the right will expand the video display to fill the screen. The Start Stop button is the triangle icon and the circle icon sets the play speed to full or half. When stopped, a left and right arrow will appear on the screen. Touch to step either forward or backward one frame at a time. A timeline is displayed at the top of the screen. Slide the round button on the timeline to move quickly forward or backward. You can test it on this clip. To annotate the video screen, touch the pencil icon and the palette icon will appear at the top of the screen, enabling you to set the colour and intensity of annotations. By moving your finger on the screen, you can draw either a straight line or a circle. Once you've finished annotating, touch Done. Touching the file cabinet icon at the bottom left of the screen always returns you to your home screen. To manage a clip, tap the blue symbol on the right side of a clip. A list of options appears for you to select from. In addition, all your clips can be copied to and from your computer using the file sharing feature found in iTunes on your Mac or PC.